Welcome to New Money, where each week we explore the most innovative Chinese businesses and entrepreneurs. I'm Chen Junfeng. Food delivery is no stranger to most Chinese consumers, but today we'll talk about a couple of companies that made food delivery a little bit spicier. Ho Li Hong is so busy at her office job that ordering food online has become the norm for her meals. To keep her day interesting, she keeps an eye on social media for the latest food delivery trends. Lately, she has become a big fan of Jackie's Crayfish, an online service delivering crayfish of the mala or spicy and numbing flavor. Their service is convenient because you can order their food from many different platforms. Moreover, the packaging they use is fashionable. Then there are a lot of little details that make you feel like they care. They mostly make mala food, like their mala crayfish, which are delicious. I think they're the most authentic I've ever had. Jackie's crayfish was started by a few young enthusiasts of the mala taste in July 2014. Less than a year later, they raised more than 6 million yuan in less than four hours during a crowdfunding event arranged by e-commerce giant JD.com. The company does not have any brick-and-mortar stores, but instead sports a 400-square-meter central kitchen. It has a monthly turnover of over 2 million yuan, or around 300,000 US dollars, and repeat purchase rate of over 75%. They sell almost 20 different products divided across the categories of food, snacks, half-cooked food, and merchandise. CEO Tian Yu describes his service. Whether you order online through Baidu, Erlama, Meituan, our own public account, or by calling our phone number, we can deliver your order within one and a half hours. We'll provide this O2O service to any destination within Beijing's Fifth Ring Road. That's our main business right now. Jackie's Crayfish's main product line is Mala Seafood. We're taking a traditionally low-end product Product, such as mala food and improving it and upgrading it. We're combining this low-end product with seafood to make the average sales per user go 200 yuan and beyond. In this area of Internet Plus, our product is number one. In the crayfish industry, good raw materials and recipes are key, and many companies spend big money on hiring chefs that can bring special recipes to the table. Tian Yu develops his own recipes for Jackie's crayfish, which means that his chefs only need to follow his recipes skillfully. This reduces risk and lowers costs. When it comes to raw materials, Tian Yu explains that he prefers to use suppliers in Beijing rather than hiring people to buy directly from the cheap but far away breeders in southern China. We have six suppliers in Beijing that specialize in mala seafood and bring us the crayfish from the breeders. This way, each of us can focus on what we're good at. So we don't sign contracts directly with the breeders now because we believe that any problem that can be solved with money isn't really a problem. We're willing to spend good money to control our profit and to guarantee the quality of our products. Jackie's crayfish went from just breaking even in April 2014 to achieving cumulative sales of over 10 million RMB in October 2015, a feat most traditional stores would have had to open several branch stores to achieve. Eating crayfish has become the new hot trend in Beijing's food scene, and Jackie's crayfish is joined by a host of other entrepreneurs, such as Da Sha Laila and Sha Baby, Currently, more than 600 brick-and-mortar stores and around 200 online stores compete to become the king of the crayfish in Beijing. Just a reminder, you can use your smartphone to scan the QR code on the bottom of our screen to find the latest and previous episodes of New Money. To begin today's discussion, Professor Liu Baocheng joins me in the studio. He's a professor at the University of International Business and Economics. Welcome to the studio. Yes. Professor, let's talk about this uh, case of crawfish. It's using crowdfunding and also O2O to online to offline. So what are the features and advantage of this business financing model? Well, it is very difficult to get uh, uh, money from the bank uh, for smaller businesses. 
So uh, previously you used to borrow money from your brothers, now you don't have a brother. So mm -hmm. uh, now you've got to borrow from strangers. But you need a uh, platform to, uh, uh, to ensure that uh, the uh, uh, investors in your platform or in your proposal will be rewarded. So therefore, uh, by collecting uh, smaller pennies from those uh, individual investors uh, doing business, is really uh, getting very popular and now it is uh, uh, also very legitimate. And the unique advantage is that uh, those investors will uh, also turn to be customers. So they may like the business, they may like the product, the offer, and then they inv they invest into it. So this type of uh, uh, model can also you know, give the startup uh, the companies a sort of a new idea because uh, you know, some startups, they are very stubborn. They believe in one thing and they just go for it without really... Uh, Listening they, to they, the market demand. Yeah, without uh, really checking the market demand, without collecting the uh, wisdom from uh, other people. So those investors, uh, uh, however small they are, they can really offer you new stimuli and new inspiration in business operation. Professor, this auto business uh, is provided on the platform of your whole. What does set this away? For? What does this set this different from other uh, products or platforms? Because young people love to eat a lot of st stuff, right? Why crawfish? Number one, uh, the, there is uh, more defined segments in the online market now because simply because they have been mushrooming. So you have to uh, very well define, you know, who are your audience and where are the uh, segments, and you have to use uh, the language of your target audience, and you have to uh, always follow the lifestyle of the young people. So this Uho platform is catered to the young people with dynamism and uh, of course with laid back or lazy lifestyle um, but they I'd love to try spicy food yeah, and weird food weird mm. yeah weird food they are you know in, in marketing they are innovators so uh, <laughs> so they uh, you know they, they may be the first one to eat the crap you know the uh, uh, back uh, ages ago so I know. so the uh, 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 this platform can also spread a lot of more information, uh, a lot of knowledge, and uh, uh, it offers a, a sort of a guarantee to those customers uh, in the product quality and also in the service quality. And one thing that is very important is really the delivery time. Right. Great, Professor.